Let's take new exercise in SolidWorks. We will create this 2D sketch with the help of SolidWorks sketch tool or sketch feature. So this is a kind of tab. You will see all dimensions here. All dimensions are in millimeter for education purpose. Okay. We are going to start from this bottom uh, structure. You will see, uh, let's start from this side. Uh, this is the, our origin point or center point of the body. So we will measure according to this center point. We will start with this, this vertical length 80 millimeter, then this internal length 80 millimeter. Radius we will apply at the end, okay? Now, the distance 20 millimeter and from center to this 150 millimeter, okay? Then similarly go to here, 60 millimeter, then this corner radius it seems uh, 20 millimeter. Then from here to this center, 90. And there is the one circle, 30 millimeter. Okay. And if we extend up to this 20, 130, 20, this is going to be 170 millimeter from bottom to here. And this diameter, 80 millimeter. You will observe here. Then radius, we need to apply, let's say 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter. And this distance from center line, 100 millimeter. So these are the important thing. Let's try to do this. Front plane is sketch. I am going to create one center line. Let me draw vertical, horizontal center line. Even though, okay, let's start with line. Okay, I am going to start something like this. Okay, before going to reach this, now if I'm going to move my cursor again to this point and see my cursor converted into arc, again move, okay, exit, I want to draw one uh, half circle, so here choose three point arc. I am going to draw a three point arc and let's keep something like this. Exit. Again, go to line. Okay. Let me draw something like this. exit okay let's apply the dimension to this part then we will see something first i am going to create few important constraint so let's select this point hold shift key origin point vertical okay now select these point three points horizontal okay let's select this one and this one collinear feature this is the important feature Similarly, select these vertical collinear. Again, select this one, these two lines and select the center one and make relation symmetric. This is important. Similarly, do for this. Select this all and leave shift key and you will see this pop up or even though you can see left side symmetric. Okay. Similarly, I am going to apply for this select hold shift key select these two and the third one and leave shift key and you will see symmetric a smart dimension. Let's apply whatever possible dimension 80 60 20 okay from here to this point 150 this upper 180 okay now these radius 30 this is also going good now this is going to be 60 okay now distance from top to bottom 
ट्वेंटी प्लस वन थर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी एंटर ओके नाउ दिस डिस्टेंस गोइंग टू बी को लीनियर सो ओके दिस वन फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर हंड्रेड ओके नाउ डिस्टेंस ओके लेट्स अप्लाई फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट हियर चूज स्केच फिलेट फर्स्ट लेट्स ए बिगर वन एटी सिलेक्ट दिस वन से ओके देन ट्वेंटी and select this corner say okay okay then let's apply 50 i am going to select this corner but if i am going to select this corner okay this is also going to select by this delete this one sometime it's going to miss once we apply dimension again let's say 20 and select these two corner yes okay that's fine now we've let's create this one okay see undo and select these two lines collinear now this is fully defined this sketch okay let's we have to check make sure line should be vertical uh, this is not vertical okay this is now it's vertical let's apply fillet 50 and see this is not going to, okay this is going to apply that's fine okay is smart dimension now distance from here to here shows 90 mm now there is a problem here see so undo again undo and we will solve later first i am going to apply these two distance 90 this is 20 mm now if i am going to apply here fillet 50 and this is not going to accept so i am going to do one thing select these two lines construction geometry activate line and go back to the point and convert into arc and just simply choose this point smart dimension 20 now if i am going to measure this one see by default this is 50 so this is how i am going to make but at this point these are not tangent okay this is going to tangent see if we choose tangent these lines are tangent but this is not so there is no tangent relation between these two okay we done this fine okay we done this uh, okay we will also create this one 30 something but let's come up 20 mm 60 you will see this internal diameter 60 this diameter 40 and uh, distance from here to here 80 mm 20 mm this depth fine then you will see this tab 20 center distance 140 and this is going to meet at center now let's draw one circle activate line tool this is the closed geometry again select the line connect okay let's select mid point select this one uh, not this one select this line mirror about this line okay now select this point and this point vertical again one more important relation select hold shift key select these two lines and center one and symmetric this is important relation okay 
फोर्टी एटी ओके ट्वेंटी एंड दीज विथ सिक्सटी एंड हाइट ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर look it seems fully defined sketch so any we need to trim go to trim option here choose power trim just press and hold left mouse and drag over the line see this is trimmed leave cursor okay now i am going to draw one center line this is important for okay let's draw something like this line connect here then move to this point again move something here and connect with this exit okay let's select these two lines uh, this is going to be construction fine select this one this one collinear select this one this one collinear okay now select this point and this one you will see midpoint okay twenty draw vertical horizontal line mirror entity now select these three lines okay mirror about make sure selected copy and select this vertical line say okay smart dimension one forty millimeter and here we go see look this is a complete fully defined sketch okay let's do something go to options documents dimensions now here i am going to change something now you will see there are uh, decimals i want i don't want these dimension decimals so remove here in dimensions and also i want to increase this uh, arrow size let's say 2 5 a little increase say okay and here see now you can adjust according to your requirement even let's say if you want to add here go to here see again select this one go to dimension text here okay now let's collect all dimensions properly okay one more thing let's apply here okay offset 30 mm and select this one okay now select this one for construction center line and connect similarly again and connect so this is going to show a construction line for this here we go just arrange all the dimension on particular location so that it is for us to define the okay now even if you want to increase the thickness of these lines simply right click and here choose line format and here se select all the geometry and here go to 
see this option line thickness 0.7 oh that's fine if you want to reduce these lines thickness 0.25 we forget to add here uh, fillet 10 millimeter but this is not going to apply so we have to apply the same theory here 3 point arc now let's select this one with this one tangent then okay now select this one make it construction select this one make it construction now these lines thickness are higher so i am going to reduce something like this increase this okay let's connect with line oh no again i have to select 0.7 look this is look more practical now select this one this one tangent smart dimension 10 now select these two line okay construction line again select these two lines and reduce the line thickness 25 so that we will get we will get the idea okay now activate line tool and connect now select this line and this one and increase the line thickness 0.7 look now it seems practical okay you can change the arrow direction inside select this one later arrow that's fine we did you can right click tool exit now see don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching